commencing at assistance suit initialization. Life support systems activated. Shield kinetic system online. Propulsion jetpack online. Multi tool inlining laser attachment operational. User initialization sequence complete. Hello guys, Jid here, welcome to No Man's Sky. Oh my goodness, this game has so much frame lag. Oh my god, it's... Wow. Okay, so, this is a brand new game, just released today, uh, August 12th, 2016. I am apparently on the planet Tutmanensplat Olbi in the Euclid Galaxy. Interesting. Um, there's my starship. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Uh, I have some things to change. Hold on. First of all... Uh, 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 graphics. There you go. That field of view is terrible. Max FPS 30? No, no. What? You have to hold? Uh, 60's fine. Why is all this on medium? This game is not highly graphically intensive. Okay. Requ restart required for settings to take effect. Alright then! Um... Yeah! Uh, well the field of view looks better, but um... I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, guys, but whenever I restarted the game, it put me on a brand new planet. Deandru Sikais, I guess? This is interesting. It didn't save... I guess I didn't give it a chance to save any progress, but that's weird that it just put me on a brand new planet. Oh well, this planet looks pretty cool, actually. I'll be okay with this change if all the settings are proper. So anyway, that's kind of weird that they made it so that you have to click and hold to activate certain things, like in the options menu? That's that's pretty bleh. DeAndre Sakai is in the Euclid Galaxy. 8, 12, 16, alright. It said uh, it was human standard, I didn't get to read the rest. Oh my goodness, the frame lag in this game. It, oh my god. This game, you know, whenever I installed this game, I've been waiting a long time for this game. Uh, I've been really excited to play this. And, um, when I got this game, Iron, Destroy. I got 13 iron from that. Cool. Um, anyway, wow, look at that. That's, that's kind of cool, actually. Um, Okay, so Leaf Planet is my mission. Repair launch thrusters, repair pulse and refuel launch thrusters. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this game for a while. Uh, it's something I've been super excited over. And when I saw this game on Steam, uh, I bought it. And when I installed it, I expected it to be a much larger game, but it was only like 2,000... Like... I don't know, it's... it's I, I was quite surprised at the install size. It wasn't that big uh, to install. And I'm hoping that they patch it because it seems to have smoothed out now. Now that I'm now that I've like turned my view around and looked at the entire planet and let it load, I guess. But uh, man, it, it looks it's the frame lag is pretty bad. Oh good. Oh good. That's that's a good sign. 
<laughs> hey guys, guess what? <laughs> I'm on another planet again. This time I found Zero Dira Mandem. Wow, I didn't know that the game was like this. The game crashes, you start up, then you find a new planet. That's what the whole game is about. That's how you explore planets. You crash your game, then you load in and start on a brand new planet. Like, it's just like a... a it's just a plethora of dreams. You keep on waking up from these dreams where you're on another planet. You're like, oh god, I dreamt that I crashed on a, on a planet called Zero Gira Mandem. And then you wake up, oh god, I dreamt that I crashed on a planet this and that, and blah blah blah. <laughs> okay. Yay! Weather withered, Sentinel's passive. Flora is high, Fauna is regular. Cool. I found Zero Gear Amandum in the Euclid Galaxy. I've already discovered three planets in this game. I'm so good at this game. And I haven't even taken off in a ship yet. Alright, so let's see if I can at least interact with this. Oh my goodness, that that frame lag. Okay, well at least it didn't crash yet. Launch thrust for critically damaged, press tab to open inventory. I'll do that in a second, hold on. Vertical takeoff system, vital launch and landing gear system. User is advised that plutonium is required to recharge thruster. Launch procedure requires sufficient fuel levels before activation. Hold W to take off from planet. Hold space to initiate in-flight speed boost technology. Crit critically damaged. Kerite sheets, one of four, all right. So what am I doing in my inventory? Launch thruster is damaged, right. That's one of the things, that, things I need to repair, which I need three more kerite sheets, I guess? Okay. And then pulse engines damaged. Spaceflight propulsion boost and on-demand pulse jumps through local system. Users advised that Th Thymium-9 is required to charge pulse engine. So I need Heridium-200, three, or, oh, another kerite sheet, and 20 zinc, okay. Is that all that's damaged? Energy shield that protects spacecraft from laser fire, in-flight projectiles, and accidental space debris <laughs> interaction. I like that. User is advised that outside elements are required to recharge the device. Operates automatically once constructed within user's starship inventory. Photon cannon. Highly destructive weapon that facilitates rapid ship ship destruction. <laughs> Weapons health, blah blah blah. Okay. So am I done? Launch thruster critically damaged. Come on, take off. I want to take off. Okay, how do I get out then? E. Got it. Oh. Oh, that frame lag. Okay. Well. Debris. Let's... Oh, one Atlas Pass V1 required? Okay. Cargo drop. Alright. Can I interact with this without it crashing on me? Nothing found. Oh, good. I'm glad that I, that I found this cargo drop that has nothing in it. I wonder why it crashed last time. New technology discovered. Press tap. What? Oh, I got cannon damage signal. Photon cannon companion unit. Photon cannon fires at increased rate. Operates automatically once constructed within user's starship inventory. It needs iron and th thamium. Thamium. Nine. Okay, cool. Uh, so do I, am I done? Do I just, do I start? What is this? Distress beacon. Whoa, I just kind of flew up. Reality seems to fold in on itself one moment I can see debris in another evastrated orb, almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me, inside and out. More than I could ever myself. More than I ever could myself, I can read. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or, in my haste and freshly awakened state, am I being manipulated? A name burns itself into my mind. Atlas. And a request made without words, that I should follow this, the path this being, this Atlas has set for me. Would you kindly accept Atlas's guidance? Uh, sure. Oh god, I forgot you have to hold click to activate stuff. I hate that. I feel suffused with the warm glow of approval. I was lost, but now I am found. The Atlas acknowledges something. I couldn't... Uh, okay. Repair... You need... Hold on. Tell port items for exosuit, exosuit to starship at any time. Press X in your inventory. Really? Can I do that? Oh, okay. All right. Oh my God, frame lag.
What is this? Does this have anything? Carbon. I shall take your carbon, tree. I showed that tree who's boss. I'm gonna take all this iron. Okay. Well, the planet looks neat, at least. Not as cool as the second planet that I was on, but whatever. You need 12 more iron to craft a karite sheet. Alright. That should be easy. I've been finding iron pretty easily. Shift runs. Okay. That has carbon. I'll take that. Can I carry infinite items? I guess I can carry up to that much. Need a little bit more iron. Let's go find a rock. Hey, there's a rock. Ooh. That's a strong rock. Oop, overheated. Okay. Craft karite sheet in inventory. Press on empty slot. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hi. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That was... Wow, that was weird. Alright, so click on that. Now what do I do? Stamina enhancement system. No, I don't want to build that. Install technology. Install technology and management. Okay, hold on. How do I do this? How do I... It said click... Oops. I moved it. It said click... Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. 20 of 20 build. User is able to run it for extended periods. Well, I might as well. That's kind of cool. Item. What was an item? Oh. I found oxide and a shielding shard. Press on. Okay. Craft karite sheet in inventory. Press on empty slot. That's modify. Hold on. Starship, maybe? Oh, E. Press E on an empty slot. Okay. Wow, I'm dumb. Uh, I need 50 iron so I can build another karite sheet. Alright. Okay. So I needed these, right? Can I transfer that? Transfer those to my starship? Yeah. Alright then. One more karite sheet, so I need to go collect more iron. So this is the beginning of the game, huh? Interesting. my launch thruster, but I also need to recharge it with plutonium. I still need two more karate sheets and a bunch of iridium. 
What the heck are you guys? I thought that was alive. This is a very interesting game. What's this question mark? Arrive in 141. Okay. Oops. Give me that. Arrive on this planet and start destroying everything. Ooh, wow. I like how the sky looks. Um. What the hell? <laughs> Those things are weird. It just comes in front of me, he's like, don't you do that! Don't you! What, what are you doing? You're hitting our rocks and stuff, don't you! Don't, don't you do it! You're on cheat. You're on cheat. Alright, so send that over to my ships. So I've got the two Kirai cheats now. Oh, why is my life support low? What the hell? I've got Zinc, now I need Heridium. How, how, do, how do I get. Her Heridium. Uh, I need carbon. More carbon. Alright, let's go gather carbon. From this thing. That's plenty of carbon. Repair scanner. Press tab and then hold to repair. On this? Oh, scanner. Repair. Okay. Hold F to operate. Oh, neat. Alright. Press C to activate local scan. Okay, Heridium is always oh, over here. Oh, neat. That's cool. And then F. Hold F to click. Neat. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here. Heridium deposit. Oh my goodness. About five minutes to get there? Goodness gracious, like seriously, it takes that long to- oh my goodness, let's go over here first. There seems to be a couple of heritage deposits over here. Can I do that infinitely, that scan? Looks like I can. Oh, hello. This is... That stuff. 21 of it there. 21 of it there. Okay, it's not too difficult to get. I just need to find it. more zinc. Stand. I already harvested you guys. I can't get you again, can I? Nope. Any more? Ooh, thomium. I need that. Whoa, cool. Neat. Oh, this has it right here. Whoa! Oh, neat. That's what I need. I guess it it marks it on my map. It marks it on my screen. What I what I need? It with the uh, weird like grid system. 
Oh crap, recharge money beam with isotope elements. Charge. Do I have that? I have carbon. Oh, oh, wow. Interesting. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Okay, so after some of the hiccups and bumps that this game has, um, I am liking it. I'm at 152. It took a little bit to get into the game. I love how this floats, too. Okay. So I need to charge it. Yes. Nice. Alright, so now that I've gotten the uh, proper things uh, repaired, I need to charge this. I need to collect more uh, some thymium. Thymium. There's plutonium. I can't get that. Journey milestone accomplished. Starship repair. Sweet. <laughs> Atlas. Oh, the required right. Refuel with 20 more plutonium. Alright, let's find 20 more plutonium, shall we? Seems to be something over here. Ah, is this... This is Thomium 9. I forgot I have a jump pack. Why is my life support system still going down? Is this a. Is, am I. Can I not live on this planet? Alright. Well. Let's see. Not enough fuel and launch duster. Ha ha. I still need to recharge it more. Okay. Restore point saved. Not bad. I can't open that. I need an Atlas Pass. Can you give me an Atlas Pass? Or do you, this thing? Hold on. What was my other mission? I don't remember how to. Oh, that's my life support. I need to recharge it. Ah. Ah. Life support device. Powered by isotopes to maintain acceptable levels of life, user must must keep power low and cells online. Ah, okay, cool. Now that I know, gotcha, gotcha. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. What is this? What is a plus mean? Health at maximum. Did that? Oh no, that's that's not life support. That's just health.
Um, I don't see anything. What is that? <gasps> oh god! I didn't mean to- Oh shit, I didn't know this thing would shoot that far! I'm gonna die. Okay, he was pissed at me, but he came up to me and he's like, Nah, I'll scan you. Oh, hello. Okay, carbon. I need more thomium. Oh, hello! I ran into a creature! Cool! Plutonium. Nice! I'm gonna gather as much of this plutonium as I can. Nice. Okay. There's a thing over there, and there's some more things over here. Alright. Interact. Interact. And interact. Sweet. Now can I scan you? I don't want to shoot you, I just want to scan you. Where'd that creature go? I saw a creature over here, walking around. Where'd it go? Oh well, whatever. Alright, let's uh, hold on. My support, I need to charge it. Okay, I have a lot of plutonium. I... There seems to be more stuff right here. I have a little bit of frame lag right now. Sweet. Okay, so I could probably charge my ship, right? Or charge my... That's fully charged. And that's fully charged now. Let me uh, charge my life support with what I have left. Nice. So, am I done now? There we go. Oh, get ready for the frame lag. Like crazy. Okay. <laughs> A and D make you do barrel rolls. Do a barrel roll. If you move your mouse left and right, that's what turns you. Fly Starship into space. Hold W to accelerate. Fly up using that atmosphere. Very cool. Oh my god, my... <laughs> this frame lag is ridiculous. So, uh, 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 uh. okay. How do you land? What is that? Hold on. I want to see what this is first. I don't want to leave this planet yet. What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, the flight flying is weird in this game. How do you land? How do you land? Do I have to fly up? Oh my god. This is this is this is bad. Alright. Okay. 
mouse controls pretty much all turning in this thing. Well, I wanted to see what that base was, but I guess I'll check it out later. All right, let's let's accelerate out of space or out of this planet, this atmosphere, and into space. Am I leaving? Whoa, hold space to engage but Oh, good. Okay. System. Ulio Von Ilova Ulio Vani Twitch. Okay. Of the Euclid Galaxy. Okay. Can I slow down? Alright. Thrusters down. Thrusters thrusters down. Okay. Where's the planet that I just left? Wait, did I just Did I just Leave star system. Acquire hyperdrive technology. Oh, hey, oh, here's the planet. So this is Ziragira Manda. You already discovered this. This is Zuho Fursuich. Zuho Fursuich. Okay. Cool. Alright. So, this is kind of neat. I like this. Oh, you could do that with star systems? Oh my god. Oh, I get thomium from just destroying rocks and stuff. Beacon transmission detected. Where? Over here. Oh, it's a... On the planet. Is it on the planet that I just left from? Oh, there's a, a moon behind the planet. Can I can I actually fly around the planet? That would be super cool. Okay. Oh, you can actually okay. You can actually stop the engine boosting anytime in and yes, it looks like you can actually fly around the planet. That's super cool. Hold on, I want to fly to the planet again. I'm, I'm going to end this video here, but I'm going to see if I can go land on the planet real quick. Whee! I just want to take a look real quick. Oh, this is super cool. Alright, so I'm going to aim down and boost onto the planet. Entering the atmosphere. Holy crap, man. Okay, if they could patch this game to fix the, uh, the terrible um, frame lag and stuff like that, this would be a fantastic game. I, I am all for uh, space exploration and planet mining and stuff like that. I love games like this. It's, it's just the type of game for me. Okay, now I just gotta figure out how you land. Oh, press E to initiate landing. Okay, I'm glad it finally told me that. Let me, um, find one of those things I wanted to see. 
So this is super cool. It doesn't the the game doesn't let you get super close to the uh, surface. There's where I wanted to go. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. I'm still getting used to the flight controls. Sorry for the dizziness. Oh my god. I'm still getting used to the flight controls, and uh, the the game doesn't let you really fly wherever you want. If you get, I can't f go closer to the ground than this. Yeah, it will not let me get closer to the ground than this. Wow, that's a great landing. Awesome, landed. Well, it, my ship is kind of small, so I guess it... Blueprint for accelerated fire Tau, already known. Okay. Alright. Anyway, I wanted to just go look at this. This is cool. Looks like people were on this planet before. The Arrow Plains. Neat. Exhausted, wait for Stanley to recharge. Alright. Can I get in this thing? Or can I use my, like... Oh wait, here we go, here we go. Can I use... I, I just, just as a test. Just as a... Well, that's not gonna work. Just as a test. Nope, can't do anything. Oh, that looks good. It looks like a wound on the world, crimson and ragged aged. Like something that once lived, but there was then torn asunder. I would have stayed away had I the senses to taste the air of this planet. I imagine it would have reached some kind of alien fetal feeder? Fetter? Alien fetter? But nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where I touched it, the surface was moist and unyielding. Seemed to become more time then crawling on a mat of slow cilia moving from me. I should have left it alone. Okay, analyze. Does from something code deep inside the long dead traveler data log? Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. New technology discovered. Shield boost tau. Okay. Cool. Alright. Very interesting. What's in here? This is kind of creepy, actually. What is this? Oh, Atlas Pass required. Atlas Pass view. We got a power canister. This is kind of creepy. It looks like an alien uh, took over this base or something. Very strange. Alright, anyway, that's gonna be it for me. I wanted to explore one of these ruins. I wanted to at least get a, something of what this game is about into this first video of mine. And I think I accomplished that. Um, I got me repairing my ship, I got me exploring some ruins, I got me going into um, the orbit of the planet for a little bit, out in space. And that's pretty much what it seems like that it, there is to this game. I've heard a lot of complaints, oh hello. I've heard a lot of complaints about this game, and um, I can understand them, but this is my kind of game, and I feel like I'm going to really like it. I just hope they uh, fix some of the uh, the frame rate issues and patch it and stuff. I, I, hope, I hope this game becomes something fantastic. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is Skid, and I'll see you guys next time.